Welcome to Pod on Purpose. Thanks for joining us. And you know what? It's raining outside when I'm recording this, so it's only appropriate <laughs> I have this background behind me. Kind of sets the mood. It um, helps me set the mood when I'm recording. We're so glad you joined us today. And as we're talking about this same word all month long, understanding. Now, the dictionary defines it as being aware of someone's feelings and uh, being empathetic towards that, and, and that's fine. But the biblical understanding of under, the biblical definition, if you will, of understanding is found in Job 28, 28, where it says, the fear of the Lord, we trust in the Lord, that's our faith, and that's wisdom. And then understanding is departing from evil. That's works. We're not saved by works. We're saved by God for good works. In other words, he doesn't expect us to clean up our act and then become his child. No, he cleans us up when we come to faith in him. He says, okay, great. You're my child now. I'm going to clean you up. And I'm going to design specific good deeds for you. Well, all this week, we are expanding on that and what the Lord expects from us in pursuing wisdom. And so when, oh, for three days this week, we're going to be talking about different ways that God wants us to pursue understanding. And then the final two days, we'll talk about the rewards of following those key instructions from our Lord. My Bible is open to Proverbs chapter 2, uh, verse th uh, 2. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 2. He says, make your ear attentive to wisdom. Incline your heart to understanding. Let me say that again. Make your ear attentive to wisdom. Incline your heart to understanding. When we say the word ear, when we think about the ear, that represents what part of our body? You're right, our senses. We hear, we see, we taste, we touch. All those things are part of our senses. And that's what the Lord's instructing us today, to use all our senses to do what? So we incline our heart to understanding and we gain and are atten attentive to wisdom. In other words, it's all around us. We just have to pause and look. Remember the old thing at the crosswalk when we are learning how to cross at a street? And the, the first thing we learned about crossing the street, the rules were stop, look, and listen, right? Stop, look, and listen. Great advice when it comes to wisdom. Stop, look, listen. Listen for wisdom. We find it from godly people that we associate with. We look around us and we can see wisdom unfold. We'll see a program where someone used godly wisdom to complete a task that they had to do on earth. We'll, we'll um, hear from a neighbor of how they used wisdom to reach out to their loved ones or their friends, whatever it might be. But if you stop, look, and listen today, God has a great gift for you. It's called wisdom and understanding. Understanding being our key word, of how to depart from evil to express our faith in God. If we're departing from evil, that means we're seeking good. Because there's two sides to that coin, right? Depart from evil, do good. He has shown you, old man, what is good, that you walk humbly with your God, right? And to do justice and to love mercy. Those are departing from evil and doing good. But today, Jesus and the Lord God says, use your ears. Make your ear attentive to wisdom and incline your heart to understanding. Think about your senses today. Think about everywhere you go. Think about the people you speak to. How can your senses glean wisdom today? 
and then go with God because he goes with you. Thanks for joining us.